actually did send out thousands upon millions more of invitations to um, players in the field, out in the gaming field, who were interested, who had signed up for the beta. And as you can see, it did get um, 636 retweets as well as 1,013 likes. So that's a lot of retweets and likes to have. And um, the game overall does not seem to be doing um, very well. Um, they did seem to extend out a lot of invitations, but at the same time, um, they actually failed to send out an invitation to professional girl gamer Casey Tron, um, who actually tweeted earlier today, um, quote, I still haven't gotten an invite to play Overwatch. Sorry, guys, I was hoping to be able to play it for you all. Um, fans and um, viewers alike were disappointed at um, the professional um, girl gamers' inability to play the game because she was not invited to the game, um, which brought up a lot more controversy as far as Overwatch goes. Um, there's actually been a lot of controversy with the game um, that Blizzard has released, and the controversy um, kind of started in the beginning um, where um, the, the Blizzard, the Battle.net, the people at Blizzard seem to be only um, sending invites to the popular people, and um, that is actually whenever the game... Um, was nicknamed as Only Watch instead of Overwatch. That's kind of a play on words. And um, it has kind of been gone down. It's kind of gone downhill as people don't seem to be really happy with where the game is going. Um, people seem to be kind of disappointed with the game and kind of where the game is heading as far as um, where the game is going. And um, which also brought um, people to the conclusion, um, the conclusion um, is they aren't giving invites because they don't want people to know how bad the game is yet. Um, that's really the only plausible conclusion we can be left with is that they're seemingly um, not sending out a lot of invites to the game because, um, you know, speaking from a news and a reporter's point of view, um, you know, maybe they're not sending out invites to the game because the game isn't good. So the less invites they send out, you know, the less likely the chance of people realizing that it's not a good game would happen. And um, that's really kind of what they're looking for. Um, you know, the truth is, if people find out now that the game isn't good, um, then no one's going to pre-order the game because there's going to be people finding out, so they kind of need to keep this low. So while they're making this beta out to be you know, some all-inclusive beta and that they're inviting millions of people. The truth is they're not. Um, they're probably only inviting a few people to kind of keep it on the down low that their game isn't very good. Um, and really that brings us to realize, realize, realize. And that's kind of a play on words. Um, but um, you know, people who know the truth are going to know that, you know, it's all a sham, you know, and um, that's kind of just what I wanted to bring you with this story. I wanted to bring you with this story that, um, you know, Overwatch isn't good. Take it from me, an actual news source.